Have you looked at your fields and wonder how you're going to do cover crops? You probably got overwhelmed with all the information out there. It's books and books and more books. If you're starting to learn the benefits of cover crops, forget complicated mixes. Plant something. A single species of cover crop like sorghum sudan and rye will add organic matter, reduce compaction, and suppress weeds in the soil. All those things sounds good to me, don't you think? And let's not forget the biology in the soil. You're going to get tons of earthworms by planting cover crops. You're also going to get other beneficial insects. So why do you prefer poor soils where you have to add tons of fertilizer and lime? I can't even put my shovel in. With cover crop implementation, you can get these beautiful dark brown soils full of organic matter, worms, and roots. The benefits of cover crops are endless. So if you're ready and want more information, consult your local NRCS or Extension office. There are two tools that you can utilize when selecting your cover crops. In the Northeast Cover Crop Council website, you can find this cover crop tool. You can select your zone, environmental tolerances, seeds, seeding method, crops, roots, termination methods, and weeds. It has tons of information on different cover crops that you can utilize, and you can also add them to your list. So if you feel like you want to do a cover crop mix, you can add them to your list and at the end we'll give you more information. You can also utilize the Midwest Cover Crop Council tool and you can put your state information, your location, what type of crop you are growing and it will give you a list of different cover crops that you can utilize in that county and what are the planting days as well. Happy cropping!